50 basis point rate cut coming in October. Canada's annual inflation slowed to 2% in August, landing on Bank of Canada's target for the first time since 2021. This leaves the door open for more aggressive rate cuts going forward. Economists were expecting CPI to come in at 2.1%, and it came in just a touch under at 2%, cooling from the 2.5% figure we saw in July. Mortgage interest costs and rent continue to be the leading factors of CPI, with mortgage interest costs coming in at 18.8% year-over-year and rent at 8.8% year-over-year, with shelter as a whole at 5.3% year-over-year. This slowdown in inflation opens the door for more aggressive rate cuts by Bank of Canada in the future. Now, earlier this month, Bank of Canada already lowered their policy rate by 25 basis points, and we had another cut priced in for the October meeting. Now, economists are debating whether we're going to see a 50 basis point cut in October because of this recent CPI data. Of course, our neighbors to the south cut interest rates for the first time in four years, and they cut by 50 basis points right off the bat trying to get ahead of things. Economists did not have this 50 basis point rate cut priced in. They had a 25 basis point cut or no cut. And now this may give Canada permission to cut rates by 50 basis points as we're not deviating too far from the US Fed, which obviously has an impact on our strength of our Canadian dollar. Bank of Canada Governor Tiff Macklem stated that with inflation getting closer to target, the real risk now is that the economy becomes too weak and inflation falls below target. He said, and I quote, we need to increasingly guard against the risk that the economy is too weak and inflation falls too much. This is basically him giving the green light to cut interest rates more aggressively if we see these below target inflation numbers come in, especially with the unemployment rate on the rise. Inflation is cooling off, and if the next Consumer Price Index report shows another downside surprise, those calls for a 50 basis point rate cut in October in order to stimulate the economy will only get louder. Currently, money markets are pricing in about a 50% chance of a 50 basis point rate cut ahead of this data. So what does this all mean for the real estate market? Lenders are becoming more aggressive with their rates as they try and gain market share with anticipated further rate reductions on the horizon. We're already seeing fixed rate interest rates in the low 4%, which we have not seen in quite some time. This could open the door for first time home buyers and bring investors back into the market, potentially increasing the demand for some property types, which will have a trickle through effect to all property types. Now, should supply hold steady and we don't see a big wave of new inventory, this could put upward pressure on prices, again, for some property types, which could have a trickle through effect to other property types because we know first time home buyers are first on the ladder and then they make their way up to affect everybody else in the market. And generally, investors are buying these entry level properties as well. All that being said, there is still another CPI release before Bank of Canada's next rate announcement on October 23rd. We'll be watching to see what comes in with that data and how it impacts their decision. Thank you guys for watching. See you next week.